Hello everyone, this is Casper Fabricius and this is my contribution of the procedural programming assignment 3 and today we had to do a um, PowerPoint show with different transition and I've created 10 different images and I have also created 5 different transitions so you will see these transitions two times but first of all I'm just going to show you how the actual program looks when it's run and then I'll explain you about the coding so enjoy Yeah, so that was actually how the slideshow looked itself. So let's go into decoding itself. Um, let's see, first of all, let's take this tab first, uh, where we are creating a class called the test app. And here we are pretty much, for this part, we are only using these three. These are just here because, well, this is an example, and they were here already, but I could. it doesn't matter if they're here or not. Um, but they're not uh, taking part of this particular program. So we have the void setup, update, and draw, which will be used in here later on. Uh, we are creating image 1, image 2, and so on until image 10. And we are going to have a texture called text. Uh, this is also where we have the different uh, variables. We have a couple of integers, my pixels, my picture, and picture counter, and my transition. I could of course put these together, but it doesn't matter really. And I have two unsigned jar uh, pointers, which is uh, one of this data, and the other one is a picture array with uh, 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, numbers inside of it. So here we have the first part, which is the setup of the test app. Here the image is loaded. Uh, image 1 is loaded inside this folder which is called image slash image 1.jpg so this is done with all 10 of the different images then the background is set to a color which is 0 which is going to be black and I'm going to put these different images into a array called picture array uh, at uh, position 0 we will have image 1 position 1 we have 2 and so on um, I will have a allocated text, which is the resolution of the pictures, which is 800 and 600. And we will have this thing called GL underscore RGB, which pretty much is the colors used, uh, red and green and blue. I also have uh, the picture counter equals to zero. Um, so we will start at zero. zero. Uh, let's see, we have the max pixel, which is the height and the width of the pictures, time the free, uh, which is the red and green and blue pixels we'll get. I also have a fading here, which is used for, for fading in and out. And my picture is equal to zero, it's used for, for changing the pictures later on. And I have a transition, my transition, which is also equal to zero, which is valued just used for various assignments later on as well. And of course, I have a data, which is a new unsigned character of the amount of pixels we have here. So that is basically the setup. Uh, now it's 
the update itself, the big program itself. First of all, I created an if statement, and this just checks if the picture counter is larger than 300. And if it is that, let's say the 300 is actually a second, so it's after three seconds, uh, it will check this. And if it's over 300, then it will do these things. It will add one number, just add one to my picture. It will reset transition, picture counter, and alpha to zero. So it's just resetting the the, uh, the pictures. Uh, under here, we have a switch, which is the switch of my picture, uh, modulus 10. My picture here. Um, and so this actually takes the numbers from 0 to 9 uh, and uses it inside of the switch into the, the different cases. And first of all, we have case 0, which is the alpha case, which uh, basically changes the value of the current uh, picture um, and kind of fades it out so uh, the next picture in the background can be, can be seen. Uh, and this is done by using a for loop where we have integer i equal to zero, and i has to be lower than the max pixels, and it's incremented by one every time. Then we take the data of i, uh, and we equals it into the picture array of my picture plus one. So that is the, the new picture that we will have, modulus ten, um, and of i, and we will just uh, time it by the, the alpha which is used uh, below and we will add the, the picture array um, of my picture this is the not the plus one picture so it's not the new picture but the, it is the old picture and we will times it by 0 0.1 minus alpha and below as you can see we have the alpha which has to be below 0 0.11 and uh, when it is that, it will just keep uh, adding 0 0.01 to the alpha value. So basically, this value here it will um, it will um, it will increase, and this will decrease. So you will see the like, this um, this picture um, after three seconds, and this will be gone in three seconds, and it will break the case. We also have the case one which is the downward scroll. Um, the old picture will scroll downwards until the new picture is, uh, is visible. So basically it's just like pushing down the, the image. And for doing this, we have uh, an asset folder. We have this one. We have the, the first folder, which is called, which is used by this. Engineer i equals zero, and i has to be lower than the transition, and it's incremented by one every time. So this is just loading data from the, the new picture, actually. Um, then we have this one here, uh, which is getting data from the from the old picture. And what's important here is that my transition cannot be more than my uh, or the max pixels, and my transition is added five thousand every time. This is basically the speed of the the roll. Uh, so you can decrease it if you want it to take further time, or you can increase it to 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 give it more time. But I just thought that this this was actually fine, and and after that it breaks. We have the second, the case two, which is the the black fading. Um, so you will see a picture, and this will be darker and darker, and then it will be completely gone, and then you will see a new picture that will be lighter and lighter until you can see this. Um, here. So if the transition is equal to zero, um, then it runs this for loop, which is, uh, yeah, you have i, which is equal to zero, and you will have i has to be lower than max pixels, and it's increment by one, and then it will take, well, it's just, it's basically, it's the first part of the fading. The, the current picture will become darker uh, until com completely gone. And as you can see here, alpha has to be lower than 0 0.11, and um, you will just add 0 0.01, mostly like we actually has had in the, the first part, where we 
rotate it out. Uh, and this is when this is done, it will run the else part of the, the statement, and this is where the new picture will start to to be visible uh, for everyone. Uh, the third case here, case three, you will get three spleen scripts, uh, split split screens from left to right, um, and again a for loop. Uh, where i is equal to zero and has to be lower than max pixel and it's added one every time and we have the data which is uh, i where the transition is, is added every time which is equals to the picture array of the picture you have currently um, and if i modulus 800 is less or lower than the transition then this part runs where the screen actually will split into these new pictures um, this is um, well. It's basically the the speed of, of how it's it's done. It's important that it has to be that it can be divided by three um, because of the, the colors explained earlier. That if you have let's you say that you you add it with five uh, and three cannot go cannot it's not a part of five. Well, you can divide five by three. You will get an a new number. And this will cause some some weird colors, and it won't really it won't really work. So you have to do it like this. Um, and then you have the yeah, just the width of the, the pictures, and it will uh, it will break after that. So let's see here. Uh, this is pretty much the same as case three. This is just case four, where I try to to change some of the the values down here. Uh, and when I got 550, I actually got a pretty cool transition if you ask me it looks more like a uh, what's called a horizontal um, yeah transition and that is basically the five different five different transitions I have then it's just the same it goes alpha and it goes scrolling and it's all the way uh, again and in the end when when yeah one of these is it will one of the one of these uh, cases have been uh, have been done. It will break, and the switch case itself will break as well. And then it will load the data of the texture um, using these these numbers, and it will add one to the picture counter. So it won't be the same picture every time. First it was zero, then the next will be third, and it will run through the switch again, and it will take the second case itself. And this is just basically some numbers that you yeah as I told you before here it is uh, some numbers or some functions regarding this it's not important for us but I didn't move it I just kept it there well the main here as you can see um, looks like this basically it's just setting the, the open window here how big you you want it to be and I just I just had it as big as the picture so so basically this is how the program runs it was a bit difficult for me uh, and it still is but I'm learning yeah um, so this is how it looks for now um, I hope you enjoyed it